The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 263 pounds, the Dominator, Bobby Lashley. As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. Oh, guys, wait, wait. Here comes my favorite part. And his opponent from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 205 pounds, Adam Cole. You can feel the electricity running Man. through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches, and this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. Technique. Ooh, a gut buster. That was all sorts of nasty. Oh, nasty impact. He's starting to feel it here. This could be the start of an ugly oh, downward man. spiral if he's not careful. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. Stump puller oh. leg snap! Oh, that's gonna hurt. The end may be near. Is he done? Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. He better stay right where he is. Oh, here's his chance to win this. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a boom, what impact. He might just win this thing right here. Nail it. Now he's got to capitalize. This may very well be it. Well, they don't call it Extreme Rules for nothing, guys. Let's take another look. I've got to be honest with you. I'm kind of glad that match is over. He comes out with a W, but it wasn't very pretty. Here is your winner, Adam Cole. What a great match and a huge victory to boot. Gentlemen, we now might be...
Ladies and gentlemen, WWE presents from Chicago, Illinois, the maestro of What's mayhem. What's going on here? Here we go. Oh, we have a ball on our hands. Up in the fireman's carry. Into a sidewalk slam. Wow. Awesome. Hook them. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. And guys, I've been looking forward to this submission match ever since it was announced. Slam. Up and Beast Buster. A panel applied. Got Buster. He's talking his opponent. From the top turnbuckle. Frog splash! Give it five stars. This might be it! Oh my! Boom! <laughs> it might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over until it's over. Up across the shoulders. Into a sidewalk slam. Wow. Awesome. The WWE Universe witnessed a classic submission match at 2016's Extreme Rules event. The Queen, Charlotte Flair, defended her women's championship against Natalya. The one thing I thought was unfair about the match is that there was a ban against the Nature Boy Ric Flair being at ringside. If Flair appeared, Charlotte would lose. the match and her women's crown. Ooh. Before you spoke of the... Styles of Fireman's Kelly! Ushi Garoshi. Oh, it's over. Such incredible impact. One of the things a superstar who's competing in a submission match has to... Uh-oh. Here it is. Styles clash. Here's his moment, Michael. AJ Styles is rolling now. Byron, you brought up that a submission match can be a special great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, what incredible power! Wow! Here we go. AJ Styles setting up. Styles looks like he wants to do it all by himself. Whoa, he lets him out. What a fool. He had him dead to rights. Styles rolls through. Oh, it's locked in. That's what he was looking for, Michael. A move like that can almost snap a superstar in half. No, he releases the hold. What in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? Styles looking to end this thing. Styles clash. Wow. I'm just as surprised as you guys are. AJ Styles is setting it up. Is he done? Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't, Cole. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? Big move coming! Wait for it! The Aiden English-Rusev pairing may sound odd, but it began paying dividends for the Bulgarian brute right from the beginning. 
After all, it was English who helped Rusev defeat Randy Orton in a matter of mere seconds on SmackDown. Do you think it's odd? What's so odd about the super athlete becoming friends with a super artiste? Talented people are often friends with other talented people. Not that you would know, Byron. Harsh impact. A blank disregard for the referee's authority gets this one thrown out. Them are the authors of pain. Welcome to Balor Club. And his opponent from Bray. County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, and one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champion, Finn Balor Champion. The time for talk is over. We'll find out who the best is in the ring right now. I am so excited this moment is finally here. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without you two bozos interrupting me. Finn Balor is in action, and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Byron, could you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight. one's over. Big first right into the buckle. Oh, what impact. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Ooh! He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, man! What a strike! Boom! Oh, 
direction for him. He's going to need a change in momentum and fast. Oh, right to the back. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Harsh impact. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Coup de Ross. Just when you thought he had looking for all the glory here. Finn Balor wins. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. And last but not least, there was this. Here is your winner, Finn Balor! Big win for him here tonight. Balor Club rejoice! contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Making his way to the ring. Brock Lesnar is looking to further his unmatched legacy of the only man to hold championships in the NCAA, WWE, IWGP in Japan, and the UFC. It always amazes me the amount of punishment these competitors are willing to go through in order to win a TLC match. Brock Lesnar still enters every match as the odds-on favorite. Yeah, I would never predict the Lesnar loss, Saxton, because you can enter Suplex City, but you will never come out the oh. same. Belly a back Suplex. Up. Big time slam. Vicious. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after the match. In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was WWE Champion. John Cena was the World Heavyweight Champion. The winner would leave as WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Corey, 
you mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating. The match had incredible historical significance. The World Heavyweight Championship dates back to the early 1900s. The WWE Championship dates back to 1963. In the first WWE Champion, Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. There was a big fight feel in Houston, Texas that night. It looked like the Viper was going to win after he handcuffed Cena to the bottom rope. But Cena detached the rope and fought back against Orton. Both men struggled until the Apex Predator ripped Cena off the ladder, forcing him to land face first on a table. The Viper became immortalized when he grabbed both historic prizes and became the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. When this guy's on, look out. As we've all seen over the years, loyalty is a rare trait to have here in WWE. But when it comes to Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar has shown some intense loyalty over the years. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Yeah, that one definitely hurt, Cole. Corey, as far as the Lesnar-Heyman partnership, I'd agree with you. And if I had to guess, I'd say Lesnar kept Heyman around for so long so that he didn't have to talk himself. Well, Lesnar certainly is a man of few words, and Heyman, well, the complete opposite. He, okay, he, <laughs> oh, a dangerous situation. Oh, what impact. If there's a finishing move that can end an opponent's existence once and for all, it's the F5 from the Beast Incarnate. The move shows Lesnar's power and true disdain for humanity. What a way to win a singles match. Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. This was one of those matches that had flashes of brilliance, but never quite lived up to all the hype. Good Here is your winner, Way Wyatt. Impressive showing there and route to the Wait for it, wait for it. God, I love when he does that. And there's the bell, and here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. I don't know where Adam Cole gets the nerve in thinking he can come in and take what he wants. Saxton, he doesn't just want to take everything. Adam Cole wants to rule the entire industry. Incoming! All right, 
Listen up, morons, especially you, Byron. A table, ladders, and chairs match commonly known as the TLC match originated thanks to three of the greatest tag teams of all time. I'm talking about the Dudley Boys, the Hardy Boys, and Edge and Christian. You got the tables for the Dudleys, the ladders for the Hardys, and the chairs for E and C. Corey, you spoke about the TLC match. It is interesting to note that the TLC match was created because of the incredible triangle ladder match the Dudley boys had against the Hardys and Edge and Christian for the WWE Tag Team titles at WrestleMania 2000. And that was just the beginning. You got that right, Michael. There was incredible history between those three teams. Each duo put it all on the line so they could be WWE Tag Team Champions. Even though the wild matches between them had TLC elements in them, the first official TLC match sanctioned by WWE took place at SummerSlam 2000. Table in play! Let's make sure everyone's clear on the rules of a TLC match. There are no pinfalls, no countouts, no disqualifications, and no submissions. The only way to win is to climb the ladder and retrieve the championship or championships that are suspended high above the ring. If there's one thing you can count oh, on man. from Adam Cole, it's that he's always looking for a shortcut. In fact, the leader of the Undisputed Era never met a shortcut he didn't like. There you go again with one of your theories. Does it ever end with you? Adam Cole possesses incredible ring. He might have it. Bam! What a slam. No doubt about that one. That'll readjust your spine. Hellacious power slam. I brought up Adam Cole's rule-breaking ways earlier and want to reiterate the fact that when Adam Cole is trying to bring down an opponent, he will bend any rule possible if it means he has the advantage. Everyone in NXT knows by now that Adam Cole is going to look for and probably find any advantage possible to give himself that extra edge over an opponent, whether he actually needs it or not. A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake. But being too tentative can also cost you. We saw that at TLC 2016 when AJ Styles defended his WWE World Head. Here he goes. Sister Abigail. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Yeah, you don't want to get dropped like that. That's for sure. The 2016 TLC match was the 19th in history, and it would not be for the faint of heart. There was no way to predict which superstar was going to incapacitate his opponent first to climb up the ladder. AJ Styles showed he was more than comfortable battling in TLC's environment of twisted, unforgiving steel and solid wood. Both men had bad intentions, as displayed by AJ Styles when he executed a springboard 450 splash out to the floor that put Ambrose through a table. That wasn't enough to put Ambrose away, but James Ellsworth pushed Ambrose off the ladder, out of the ring, and through a table. That's how AJ Styles retained his championship. TLC matches became so popular. Corey, I don't think that went as planned. Geez, you think? Nailed it. Oh boy, he is rolling. We know what's coming here. You're a Nagi. Man, oh man. That has got to be it. Corey, you mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating. The match had incredible historical significance. The World Heavyweight Championship date. He's looking at it. Well, it'll hinder your modeling career. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake. But being too tentative can also cost you. We saw that at TLC 2016 when AJ Styles defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Dean Ambrose. Ambrose said that his temper was his game plan, but if anyone would be at home in a TLC match, it's the Lunatic Fringe. The 2016 TLC match was the 19th in history, and it would not be for the faint of heart. 
There was no way to predict which superstar was going to incapacitate his opponent first to climb up the ladder. AJ Styles showed he was more than comfortable battling in TLC's environment of twisted, unforgiving steel and solid wood. Both men had bad intentions, as displayed by AJ Styles when he executed a springboard 450 splash out to the floor to put Ambrose through a table. It wasn't enough to put Ambrose away, but James Ellsworth pushed Ambrose off the ladder, out of the ring, and through a table. That's how AJ Styles retained his championship. Let's make sure everyone's clear on the rules of a TLC match. There are no pinfalls, no countouts, no disqualifications, and no submissions. The only way to win is to climb the ladder and retrieve the championship or championships that are suspended high above the ring. Yes! Unreal performance! Every time the tables, ladders, and chairs come out, we get more than our money's worth. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. Here is your winner, Bray Wyatt. They proved who the better competitor was tonight. I don't... Welcome to Balor Club. And his opponent from Bray. County Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion. And he is one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champion, Finn Balor.
This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Hell in a cell. Finn Balor is in action, and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Byron, could you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, but he's got a very untraditional approach tonight, which includes oh. spending a great deal of time outside the ring. That might help him in the long run. We'll see. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. And Finn Balor slips out of harm's way. Extraordinary elusivity. Confident, mysterious, and yes, a bit demonic. That's Finn Balor. After all, we're talking about the 2015 NXT Male Competitor of the Year, the overall competitor of the year, and the first man to be crowned WWE Universal Champion. Beautiful technique. What do you think Finn Balor needs to focus on right now? There's definitely a confidence and mystery about the man who named himself after the Irish mythology warrior named Finn and a warrior King Balor. Finn can also be, let's say, a bit demonic at times. There's a quiet, cool confidence about Finn Balor. There's a mystery to this man who's been a champion everywhere he's competed. If anyone can relate to those things, it's definitely me. Guys, we all know the storied history of Hell in a Cell, but we'd be remiss if we didn't at least mention that the first time anybody laid eyes on this demonic structure was back in October 1997 at the Bad Blood pay-per-view. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Reflecting again on the first time we saw the Hell in a Cell structure. I don't think anybody at the time could have envisioned the truly merciless moments this structure would provide over the years. And amazingly, Michael, those moments somehow become more and more barbaric with each passing match. What a strike right on the mark. In position for a power bomb. And that's not a good place to be, Cole. In a precarious position here. Yeah, I don't like where this is heading, Michael. Power bomb! And Finn Balor's really taking a pounding. I don't know how much more Finn Balor has left. His outlook is not good at all. If you had your money on him winning this Hell in a Cell match, I think it's safe to say you lost. Sorry, guys. I don't know about you guys, but for me, there is no greater thrill than being at the announce desk for a Hell in a Cell match. This is the title match we've all been waiting for, guys, and so far it's delivered the goods. You know, I'm a little surprised, Corey, to hear you talk about the thrill of announcing a Hell in a Cell match, considering you were there when Shane McMahon shattered the announce desk at Hell in a Cell 2017. I was there too, Michael, and I'll tell you, I will never look at Hell in a Cell matches the same after that. You were? 
Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Going for it all here. Big slam. This one is over. We've got to see that again, guys. So nice, you got to see it twice. Here we go. Oh, he's got the mandible claw. This could be it. That should do it. Real quick, let's remind everybody that there are no rules inside of Hell in a Cell, meaning the referee's sole job in this match is to call for the bell following a three great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Just as important as Byron's point about there being no rules inside the cell, the same holds true for outside the structure. As we've seen many times in the past, superstars don't always stay within the cell. No, they don't, Cole. In fact, a lot of times you'll see them competing on top of the cell of all places. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! Oh boy, he is rolling. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Of course, guys, we all remember when the Hell in a Cell debuted in 1997 and how harrowing the structure looked. But it's worth noting that the cell has become even more ruinous in recent years. The Irishman has his Irish up. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's making a statement here with this attack. Byron, I think Finn Balor is due for a little target practice. Oh, you're not lying. Here he comes. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. Finn Balor never got the shoulders down. And he kicks out. Wow. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, nasty impact. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. This is where Finn Balor's at home. I think we know what this oh, is. a long way down. That's what... There's a pin now. He wins. I can't believe it. He survived this journey through hell. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Check this out. I'm not easily impressed, but even I thought that match was one of the best I've seen in a while. He's going to want to make sure he saves every minute of this match for his personal highlight reel because he was on fire in this one. Here is your winner and new WWE Universal champion, Bway Wyatt. Wow, huge pinfall win here tonight. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. And it's matches like this one that makes SmackDown such a success. Thank you so much for joining us.